How's it going everybody and welcome back to Lead Therapy and thank you so very much for taking time for tuning in to my video. Let's take a look at a story that's coming out of Australia. And of course the Democrats here in the United States would like to pass the gun laws that they have there in Australia. An Australian teenager has been charged with printing a fully functioning 3D firearm. An Australian teenager has been charged with gun offenses after police seized a fully functioning firearm. He allegedly made it home with a 3D printer. Police in Western Australia found the weapon and a number of other firearms after executing a search warrant at the 18 year old's home in early June. This firearm, although it resembles a toy, has an ability to cause serious harm within our community. Detective Senior Sergeant Blair Smith told reporters, it is deeply concerning that this man was able to manufacture this firearm at home with a 3D printer and readily available materials. The plastic weapon is capable of firing 15 rounds with one pull of the trigger. Police allege it took two days with materials costing less than 40 Australian dollars, which is 28 American dollars. Last year, the Western Australian government proposed changing gun laws to make it illegal to manufacture plastic 3D firearms. Under the proposal, a maximum 10 year sentence to apply with anyone caught with plans or instructions on how to make them. In Australia, civilians are banned from possessing fully automatic weapons and all other gun ownership is heavily regulated and restricted to people over 18 with a valid license. The laws were introduced in 1996 after a gunman opened fire at tourists at Port Arthur, a former colonial prison in Tasmania, killing 35 people. The massacre horrified the Australian public and the government quickly tightened rules on firearm ownership. A gun amnesty was launched which encouraged people to hand in guns to local police stations anonymously and without penalty. Combined with a gun buyback scheme, the measure took about 640,000 guns out of circulation since the short-term amnesties have been announced. Around 57,000 guns were surrendered in just three months during the last national amnesty in 2017. According to the government last July, the national gun amnesty became a permanent feature. The teenager in Western Australia has been charged with offenses including the unlicensed manufacturer of firearms and ammunition and possession of a prohibited weapon. He's due to appear in court next week. As I'm looking at the picture of the 3D printed firearm, it looks to me like it could be chambered at 9mm looking at the magwell. Let me know what you think in the comments. And then they keep saying it's made of plastic. And then they say it's able to fire 15 rounds with one pull of the trigger. Of course insinuating it's an automatic weapon. By all means, I am no firearms expert. But wouldn't you think there has to be some metal parts inside for this firearm to be able to handle automatic weapon fire? Also let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section as well. And if you enjoyed this video, or if I gave you some information you didn't know, please, please take time to like, share, and subscribe, and hit those post notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video.